I'm son, t- I'm t- what are you doing? I'm telling you, man, it worked. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> what are you doing? Bring it over here. Look at the size of that fish. Going after that fly. You're going to have to share now. You're going to have to share. What is this? I don't know, top secret. Oh, my goodness. You're right. They do eat it. They do eat it. Look yep. at that. Brian, the hammer, first man. fish of the day. We didn't even get started. Come here. Bring that thing up here. We got to show this off. He was just putting water in his bubble, and he goes and catches a big old bass like that. Good Lake Pleasant bass. There you go, son. Got it. Folks, today we're at Lake Pleasant. Just got started. And Brian Boyer from Airtime Cooling and Heating's out with us today. A good friend, great partner of the show. And uh, go he's going to show us a new technique today. Of course, I didn't bring my stuff for that, but you, you might have to share if you're catching them that quick. Probably could. <laughs> he says, I'm going to fill my water bubble up, takes one cast, and boom, it's that fish. Couldn't believe it. Anyways, I've got my Ricos. We're at Lake Pleasant. We're going to try some topwater fishing. But let's explain to the folks at home what you just caught that fish on. I mean, that was just, we weren't even ready. No, tell we just, them, tell them what no, you're doing, got buddy. Started, got you got up. a secret going on. Yeah, so so a good buddy of mine who's actually uh, owner of Arizona Fly Fishing, John Romer, makes a um, just a traditional fly. So it's kind of all chewed up now that it got caught, but it's just a traditional fly. And from there, we go like traditional, almost uh, white mountain <laughs> trout fishing <laughs> like, Holy cow, with, a, with a bubble. And it's just the same technique. Throw it out there, it gives a good splash, just like a Rico or other baits, and they come right in and hammer it. So you're popping the bubble. Yep. Just like you would like a topwater bait. You got it. And the fly underneath the water, way behind it's just darting around. Correct. Right? Yep. And it's As weightless, it goes, right? It, yep, and it just kind of floats and flutters, and it looks like a, a dying shad. So. Man, I'll tell you what, I've got my Ricos. I'm going to try some top water while he's doing this, but we'll see what happens. Brian, that was an awesome Yeah, it's kind of with. a top secret thing. My buddy Mitch uh, showed this to it me. Ain't so top he's secret probably now, gonna, son. Yeah, he's probably going <laughs> to kick my butt, but it's all right. All right, well, let's get to fishing. Man, I'll tell you, i got to get some casting in. Great job, my friend. That was quick. If they're going to be bumping on that that much, I might have to change. Oh, 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 I got one. Brian, I got one. All right. Shot, right? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, little Rico bass. Oh, man. He's aggressive this morning now, let me tell you. Great fish. <laughs> I was just thinking, man, I, I hope my Rico's working today. Look at that. Oh, I barely got it. No, 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 no. Come here. Come here, baby. That's what I'm talking about, son. But when you come out here and take a couple of casts, we're out here five minutes and catch two fish. That's my kind of fishing, my friend. Look at that. Nice fish. Little Rico bass. Uh, uh, got it. Look at that. Two quick bass right off the bat. Boy, they're warm. It's yeah, colder it's, outside yep. than, the, yep. than the water is. It's starting to cool down. We're here in the fall, folks and throwing two different kinds of techniques. We both got a fish in the boat. This is gonna be fun today, I got yeah, a It's feeling. gonna be a good day. You think so? Oh yeah, huh? oh yeah, it's already started good. <laughs> not working, right? What do you so, mean it's not working? It's working great. No, 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 not, not working. Oh, we're work. not, we're, oh, you're not working. Exactly, yeah. so it's a good day. You have been so busy this summer. I finally get a chance to get you out on the show. It's so nice to have you. And uh, man, to get out here to Lake Pleasant, a, a, a fishery that you fished off and on for how long now? Oh, I don't know, probably 10 years. That's awesome. And to come up with an idea like that to oh, throw on this lake. Yeah, it's, you and it your was buddy. not my idea, but it's a, a buddy of mine, Mitch, that showed me. And then uh, um, John ties the flies, and uh, it's just a great technique. It's effective, especially this time of year. Boy, I'm seeing that. That's not a joke. It just has that natural splash like you would, you know, on a boil when they're chasing them. It just draws them to it. Well, you know, I'm throwing, obviously, the Rico. It's the Rio Rico is what I'm throwing, and it's the lightning shad pattern. And uh, I like that lightning shad when they're up chasing shad or they're up, you know, moving shad around. So, you know, I watched you catch that fish, and I'm like, man, hopefully I got the right color on today. They make a bunch of different colors, as you can see how big this lure is. Throwing it on 15 pound test monofilament line. And uh, you know, I, it's one of my favorite colors of all time is that lightning shad. You almost can't come up with a better color for this time of year. Are you throwing fluorocarbon on your little fly? 
or is it monofilament? It, it is fluorocarbon. And this particular one is seven pound is all. Seven pound? Yeah. I don't think it, on that you could probably go down to six if it's a real tough bite, but I think it. They're know. getting getting with it back there in the back somewhere. So. The one thing tough about these is you gotta kinda, it's just like any other lure, you gotta make sure that if something you catch a fish on, you go back to it and take a look at it and make sure nothing's changed. You wanna make sure that still, the presentation's good to the fish. That's a feather fly, right? Is that a, well, a not actually, a feather, but I believe, a, a I think hair? John calls it a mylar material. Okay. So it's a, um, a material that he makes. Look at this. That he actually makes. He even it's puts just eyes like, on Just it. like a shad. It yep. does look yep. just like a little shad. Yep. Wow, that's incredible. Yep. Oh, there you go. Hey, oh, you got my fish. That's a good one. That's a lot better fish, son. Yeah, it is a game on the Look motor at here. you go. <laughs> All right, right you might have to give me some of them flies, my friend. Look at that. Look at that fish. Brian, you're putting it on them now. That's like three fish. A little better, a little better. You catch another fish on that thing, and I'm going to have to rig one up. I got the stuff for you. You know. Here we go. Nice. You always want to check the water, too, in your bubble. Let me see that. Oh, it's really full. Yeah, see, they, it gains water sometimes while it's in there. So you want to want to get it back down to about center, just above center line. Where the water goes on these little bubbles is just a little over half, right, Brian? Mm-hmm. And look, as this thing's sliding up and down, it's it's hitting the stopper, and it's coming down and hitting the bead, and you're getting a clank. So you're getting the noise, and it's a, attracting the fish to the fly. And the other thing too is the, the reason you want to check the tackles. You got look at your your hung up there. We'll have to retie that. Oh man. Yep. Yeah. So. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, I got a good one, folks. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, son. Brian, this one's a good one. I saw him. I saw the fish. Oh! Nice, nice. You were just asking if it catches big fish. Yeah, I was just asking that question. Oh, my goodness. You need the Look net or you got to get him? <laughs> I'm worried. I don't want to pop him off, so I'm trying to. Oh, he's, he's eating it. He ain't going nowhere. That's the good thing about Look it. Look at that it's fish, not... folks. Look at that. Oh, nice, nice. That's a nice one right there. Come on, buddy. Oh, I got him hooked right in the lip. Yep. Oh, no, come on. Oh, he's hooked in the bottom of the lip. Look at that. Great fish. <laughs> Great fish. <laughs> come here, buddy. Hooked him right there. Look at that. Beautiful bass. <sighs> folks. This is some technique, I'm telling you. Brian, where like have it? you been, my son? Like, where have you been? Uh, it's, it's Mitch, it's Mitch. Or, Here's he's... the deal, man. This guy goes out and fixes coolers and does heaters and, and all that with airtime cooling and heating. He needs to be out here fishing, man. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's all good. Man, that is fun. That is a blast. Look at this rig, folks. I can't believe this thing. Unbelievable. And I'll tell you something. I think this is legal in a bass tournament. I really do. And it's something the bass just do not normally see. And this is a first for fishing with Johnny Johnson, folks, to throw this kind of a technique out there if you're not trout fishing. <laughs> right, right? That's true. We haven't moved out of this cove. There's a lot of little ones in here, but there's some good fish in here. We've seen them explode. Yep. You said you can drop shot the fly as well, huh? Yeah, we do it a different version though. This hook, if you look, the hook is in the bottom of the fly. We yeah. reverse it and do the hook upward. So when it's in the water, your hook is just like a traditional drop shot hook like this, but then the fly is up top. On so top it hides of the, hook. the hook and then it, it's, it's a good, it's very good technique. I've, I've caught fish out here on those uh, deep structure areas where the trees are underwater 60 feet deep yeah. or their structure. Yeah, it'll, they usually hit it on the fall though on that deal. That's why it's important to have a real light drop shot weight. Hey folks, for the tip of the week, Brian's got a great trick to be able to catch bass on this rig. There's a tip and you gotta show them, you gotta show them. First, you gotta make sure that the space between your stop and your bead is correct. 
usually about six inches or four, depending on how you like it. And then make sure your bubble's full of water, not completely filled, but halfway full. And then when you cast it out, you're gonna get it out there and you're not gonna wanna just retrieve it back. You're gonna wanna pop it. But you're gonna pop it harder than you would a Rico or other conventional um, top water baits. You really wanna give it a good pop and that's what gives it the action and the spray and the noise that triggers that fish. It's like a uh, dinner bell ringing there for the go. fish. And then you let it set for a second, don't get bit, try it over again and keep on going at it. <laughs> good job, Ryan. That's an awesome tip of the week right there, folks. Oh, it's a bass. It's a bass. That's a good one. <laughs> a little fly fishing bass. Yeah, go, go. Get out there. Get out there. <laughs> yeah, those are bass busting them. I thought it was striper. Come on. Come on, little feller. I got it. We got to hurry up and get back out there. Look at that, folks. Look at that. Now, this is what you're looking for right here. Right here. Get out there and get one. We pulled in this cove, folks, and just happened to start seeing them blasting, and it's like, we need to get out there. That's exactly what you're looking for with this kind of rig. Oh, oh, he hit my bubble. Yeah, they hit the bubble, too. You know going to put a hook? Oh, 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 he hit it right there. Did you see that? <laughs> oh, there go. That's a little bit better one right there. <laughs> Look at that fish, son. Look nice. at that fish, huh? Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, look at him. Look at him oh, fighting. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Oh, look at him. They all want a piece of it. Get your lower in there. <laughs> that is just too. Oh, he's going to eat it. Look at that. Look at that. He's going to eat it. Uh, uh, oh, look at that. We tried to double up on that, didn't we? Tried. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, son. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Uh oh, watch out. What? Where'd you go? Oh, you went that way, huh? Yeah, sorry, that was me. I thought you were going this way. Sorry. Nope, that was me. That was a bad cast. But watch, I'm gonna catch a fish on it. Look, I got one following it. Got one following it. Oh, man. Oh, I got one. You got a good one, don't you? Oh, that's a good one. You got one. <laughs> oh, oh, I got one. Double. Right there. He's not quite as big as yours, I don't think. No. <laughs> hey, we found the mother nude. Hey, when you're doubling up, folks, that's when you know the fishing's fun. And that, that little fly, oh my goodness. Brian, son. Oh, there he is. I told you. Oh, I got I one too. You. I got one too. Whoa. I'm telling you, son. <laughs> Brian. Oh, look oh at that. did you, you see, see that? that fish come up after my fish? Oh, that's he awesome. was a big one. There's some big ones in here. We might get lucky. It's good to get. Man, he's this one's fat. I'm gonna. Boy, to try to get that fly out of their mouth is unbelievable. Yeah, that's only challenging. And then you gotta make, you gotta, you know, fix the fly. And while like... you're busy doing that, I'll just catch another one. Oh, that's funny. I might be due for a new fly here. Get a little chewed well, up because don't take fish. too much. Don't take too much long. Oh, they're hitting that clear bait. Oh, 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 he broke me off. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, you're all right. You're good. <laughs> I need another fly, Brian. Can I have another fly? I don't know. They're, well, how much are they? <laughs> Look at that. Where are they? I'll oh, you hit them. Oh. You hit them, where are they? You're all excited, look at you. I am, I gotta get out there, they're biting. They're like a little kid. They're biting. Here you go, here you go. I'll get you one, hold on. Folks, this is a first, this is a lot of fun. We're catching little ones too, but man, this fly in the bubble thing is a blast. Here you go. Oh, he got it. <laughs> Look at that fish coming out of the water. Brian, you got to get out there, son. I'm fixing it. You got to get out there. <laughs> I'm fixing it. Got we the are tangle. catching fish all day on this stuff. All day. Oh my goodness. Look at all the shaddy spitting up. That's not a bad fish right there. Look at that. Those are the kind. Nice. Those are the kind, son. Ah, 
a little bit better bass right there. This is fun. Folks, we're still out here, 10 o'clock. I, I don't even wanna guesstimate how many fish we have caught. A lot of runts, a lot of rats, but still a lot of fish. Having fun with these fish that are chasing shad. It is so much fun to do this. There he is, I got him. Oh yeah, you got a good one, son. Oh, get him in here, Brian, come on now. <laughs> now those are the kind of fish we're talking about, huh? Look at that fish. <laughs> well, he you came after help? it. You got him? No, I got him. He came after it and then came back for it. Now he... that, folks, is the bass we've been looking for. Oh, man, he just took me. Are you serious? Yep, I didn't get it. Oh! That's all right. Hey, the good news is, look right at the camera. We got him on camera. We got him on camera. Yeah. That was awesome. Catch and release. Well, folks, it's been a great day. Brian, Mr. Brian Boyer, airtime, cooling, and heating. Anytime you need something done, this is the guy to go to. And he's an avid fisherman and just showed us a great new technique. Brian, thanks for having us on the show. Give us a little rundown real quick on the guys that showed you this technique and where to pick up these flies. Well, first off, I used to fly fish a lot. Well, I still fly fish a lot. But this fly is done by John Romer, which is Arizona Fly Fishing and you can go to azflyfish.net and you can also just type in Arizona Fly Fishing and his website will come up. He's located in the White Mountains, um, been around the, the valley forever with Arizona Fly Fishing and he makes this. It's a diamond hair minnow. You can buy them on his website. Uh, they're great for fly fishing, doing the bubble technique and then also uh, some guys even use them for drop shotting and it's a, it's a great fly for Arizona when the shad are up and you can, you can imitate that. Um, the technique itself I used to fly fish it the technique was shown by Mitch Milkovich and uh, Mitch uh, you guys probably seen him at tournaments or different places a big guy he also does the bug eye jig uh, does a great job but I have to hand it to Mitch he's the one that taught me how to do this and <laughs> showed me what's going on and I've kind of given out a secret to everybody Hopefully he's today. still your friend yeah, today. yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping but but you can get the flies at uh, Arizona fly fishing with John Romer and uh, um, and then Mitch also has the bug eye jig, which is a great jig to look at. And then uh, he, he's the man for the technique. So hopefully we can maybe get him to Bass Pro one of the days. And you bet. We'd have him do a seminar and love to have all him that there. stuff. So. And don't forget airtime, cooling, and heating for sure. He's a great partner of the show. We sure appreciate having you on. Thanks appreciate for that. everything you do for the yeah. show. And I'll tell you what, Lake Pleasant has a lot of bass in it. Definitely come out and check it out. Fall fishing. This is a blast. It's been a great day for us. Thanks for joining us on the show. I'm Johnny Johnson. <laughs> now, see, that's what I'm talking about, folks. <laughs>